Casey's at it already. <sighs> Knew we should have left him at home. Oh yeah, yeah. Two cent piece. I guess she's mad. Just go eat your lunch. Honey, <laughs> part two. Part two of the old ghost town. You got Mike Kiefer. From Mark William and Rock, we got Marcy, my son Ryan, Brad from uh, Fishing Creek Metal Detecting, and Casey. So, oh, and Brad, his friend, Mike's friend. So, hopefully, we'll find something. Casey's with us, so I'm sure he'll find silver. And it's like 15 degrees. We're nuts. Casey's at it already. First foundation. <sighs> Knew we should have left him at home. But no, you said bring him. We got. This is your last one. I'm not coming over. <laughs> pretty nice on the back, but the front's pretty. Go ahead and pull it. Smooth, yeah. Ew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice find. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird how the backs are nice. But that's very nice cool. Yeah. What are you using? <laughs> almost dropped my phone. What are you using now? The simplex? Yeah, my Casey's, little coil. Casey switched to the simplex today. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, spoon bowl. Yeah. Pewter. Too far down. That's why it's all broke up, because it's pewter. Yeah. Find another piece of it, maybe. I don't know. Hey, everybody. It's been about an hour, hour and a half. Been digging a lot of trash. Uh, I don't think anybody's really got anything besides Casey and uh, Brad with Mike from Aqualand Relics. Got a really cool suspender clip. I haven't got that on tape yet. But I finally pulled my first coin. It rang in kind of low, so I'm thinking it's a nickel. Could be a shield nickel. Let's have a look. Ah. Uh, Shotgun shell. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, I, I know this is a coin. The last one, I lied to you. Those shotgun shells, you gotta dig them. But here we go, have a look. half cent size I don't know I have no clue let me give it a little pants rub lightly I don't know if I'll get anything off of this or not could be a two cent piece Two cent piece, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Two cent piece. I can see the shield right there on the back. Let me see if I can get the two to come out right there. All right, I'm back. You can see the shield on the back. The front side, it's not so good. I don't want to peel all that off. I don't. I guess it ain't gonna hurt it, but I'll put a toothpick on it tonight and see if I can get her to come out any better. But that's actually my first good good one for the day. <laughs> All right. I just got pushed out of the way. Uh, I guess she's mad. Just go eat your lunch. <laughs> eat your smushed sandwich. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I thought I had another uh, two cent piece because I just dug it right there. And uh, it just popped something even better than a two cent piece. 
Have a look. It's gonna be an old crotal bell. So this day's come. This day's uh, working out. So let me let me put a brush on that. I'll be right back. I'm back. That's as good as I can get it cleaned up. It's in kind of bad shape, I guess, from being under the ground almost 200 years. But I will take her. All right, Brad's yelling coin. Last time he yelled coin, it was a big piece of iron. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it ended up being a light bulb base. All right, here's, here's, where, we, here's where we're at. Right here. Oh, it's green. Uh, now I gotta be an Indian. Let's see what she looks like. She's an Indian. She's gonna clean up nice too. Anytime anyone yells coin, you know what happens? Casey comes running just like a <laughs> just like a shark. <laughs> 1865. Nice. Awesome. Congratulations. Is it back nice too? Can I have a look at it? Flip it over. Yeah, sure. Hmm? And Jim. Oh, That's a nice old date, 1865. Look at the plug. Huh. Yeah, you planted that. <laughs> I know. That's why I came along today. He brought, he brought that little piece of soil with him. <laughs> Very nice. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Boom. Brad just pulled a really nice looking buckle out here. Yeah, Looks like a suspender. Yeah. No flowers on there. I like it. Nice fun. Good job. Definitely, yeah. Brad says he's got a coin. Let's have a look. Hope it's another Indian. Actually, I hope it's a shield neck hole. Did it ring up? What did it ring off as? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, brown. Looks Indian size though. Hope it's a memorial. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my luck. No. What's the chance? It's not going to be a memorial up here. Yep, she's an Indian. Indian, yeah, I see the date in the bottom. There we go. Clean up. Brown one. Looks like she is 1878. Wow. My phone is messed up. I gotta get a new phone. There it goes. 1878. Hey, if you guys know of a good camera that's weatherproof, Give me an idea, leave it in the comments below. Or I need a camera. <laughs> Very cool. Marcy said you just found a spoon. Ow! 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 Where's it at? Is there fancy on it? I don't think so. Because we're in the rich part of town. Just plain little spoons, one of them old ones. Gosh. That is very cool. Pretty plain. It's little. Any, any, any mark on the back of it here? I don't think so. Usually weren't marked. These ones are pretty crude, pretty plain. Nope. I found some bigger ones that same shape. Cool. Let's get some, let's get some coins. Brad says he's got another buckle or a suspender clasp. Suspender clasp. Oh yeah. There we go. Seems like glass in there with it. I've never seen one like that.
Now we'll clean up on the wrap up. That's a pretty good. That is really cool. My phone won't focus. Low light. Seems about six, seven inches down, maybe. That is a cool looking suspender. Yeah, it's definitely a suspender class. You can see the, the Wow, that's pretty cool. Congratulations. That's an awesome job. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm. Casey just come over, said he found some kind of a buckle. We believe it to be a sash buckle, more for decoration or decorative. But it's really thin, and it's got a lot of gold gilt on it. That'll look pretty good cleaned up. I'd spray it, but my water's frozen. Very cool. All right, I'm back. Signal's way down there underneath the roof. Sorry, my phone's all messed up, probably because of the cold weather. But I got a toe tap spill. There's one. Here's another one. Bad shape, but oh well. And I believe this is the part of the shoe that it came off from. Leather. I think it fits just in there like that. Yep. So they're together. And this one's all by himself. Happy with them, I'll take them. I love toe taps. Right here, could have just made my day. Thinking possibly a two cent piece. Yep, two cent yeah, piece. Yeah, it is. No, nice. Two cent piece. Awesome. Definitely a two cent piece. You can see it there in the sunlight. I'll clean it up and I'll get back with you. Okay, first one that I know of today. Looks like a two piece. Still has the shank. Nice. And we have a, uh, what do you call it, the benchmark. Mm -hmm. I'll just show you the back. Now, now what do we got on the front? Oh, we got some fancy. I'll let you all look at it. Very nice looking button. Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick roundup of my finds. Then we'll do Brad's finds here. So, that was a pretty cool find with a fork. Uh, I'm thinking 1864 on my two cent piece. So, Pretty awesome find there. I like that. A couple shotgun shells. This here might have been some kind of compact. Kevin tore it up today with uh, XP Deus. Really nice croto bell. Marcy was hoping it was all bent up, but as you can see, pretty nice croto bell. Got a two cent piece too. Did you ever get a date on it? 67. 1867 two cent piece and another fork nice look at marcy bringing in the spoons yeah, that's an umbrella slide. oh okay yeah umbrella nice slide. nice some kind of maybe i got the the top to your compact all right here's brad's finds he tore it up he had an amazing day he got some beautiful suspender clips go guild with that really nice one here I like that one. Got the brass. It's got some kind of flower shapes on it. Awesome, awesome finds. Then he even found a thimble. Still on my bucket list. But he's got one. Got two Indian heads. Okay, so he's got some old Indians. Really nice. They're thinking it's a state seal button. Maybe a Pennsylvania state seal button. He had a great day. We all had a nice day.